Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another vlog. As you would have seen from the title, we're in holiday prep mode. It's currently Thursday. I go on holiday on Tuesday early hours of the morning. Um, so the pump has started. I need to go and get these nails sorted out because I actually got these done before Mallorca. So they've lasted me such a long time. Um, I now get Biab, which is build in a bottle, which is like a thicker gel. Like it's a lot more strong um, and, lasts, and lasts longer. So I really recommend that because if this was gels, I know that I would have like cracked. It's grew out obviously, but it hasn't like chipped at the sides. Um, but I'm going to get a pedicure first because God, my toes need it. Um, my toenails are literally not a vibe right now. So we're going to get them toes scrubbed up and then go and get nails done i need to pop to town to get a few bits and bobs i'm hoping zara have a bodysuit which i've really wanted but it's out of stock which is so annoying i'm just doing the parking on my phone um but yeah i'm gonna pack with you in this vlog i'm gonna show you some of my holiday outfits i'm really happy with my holiday wardrobe for santorini like i got loads of new bits ordered loads of stuff and i'm just really impressed i love it all um so done let's go get a pedicure hello we are back from the pamper morning and all of a sudden it's half three i'm actually oh, i've got an itchy nose i'm unsure how it's now half three to be completely honest but look at the nails oh my god there's just no better feeling than fresh nails is there can you believe that they're my natural nails like look how long they are so i started getting Biab, which is building a bottle. I literally look like a pea head sat there, but I'm not going to move it. Corby's also over there, fast asleep in the corner. Um, yeah, I started getting Biab because my nails were just chipping all the time with gel. Like, I'd get them done and they chip within a week and it was doing my head in. So I got Biab. This is my second time getting them. My first time, actually, no, it's my third but my second time at this place in Nottingham, which I'll leave linked down below. She's so nice. Salon's so cute. Um, and she's amazing at nails. I got Biab and I needed it to last me two holidays because I was going to Mallorca in Italy. Um, and it lasted me four weeks. I didn't have one chip. It obviously like grew out. Um, so it didn't look like fresh. But no chips at all where usually with gel. They'd be chipped and then I'd peel it off. Um, and then obviously when she took it off to reapply it to give me the fresh biab, my nails are so much stronger, they're so much longer because it's actually like good for your nails, it strengthens them. Um, so I really, really recommend if you're trying to go on like a little nail growth journey um, and want to like stop using, it, stop getting acrylics or your gel is just chipping all the time or your nails are snapping, I really recommend trying biab because... I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Like, the fact that that's my natural nails and they're that long, I'm just so happy with them. So, we've got the fresh French. We've also got fresh French on the toes. I won't put my toes on YouTube because um, I don't think anyone needs to see my toes today. Although, I think I've got quite all right feet. I don't think they're that bad. Um, but, you know, I still won't get them out on YouTube. Um, I've just been trying on some of the outfits and showing them on Instagram for my edit just to show how some of them fit and how you can mix and match. This is part of the Girl Knows All edit with me. Um, I love the colour of this. Really nice. You could also wear this in like autumn. I feel like it's a very autumn colour with a trench and some chunky boots. And then I've got the cycling shorts that match. Oh, that would look really nice actually with a chunky boot and a trench coat love that um basically let me show you this corner of my room because this is like my holiday corner i think because we're moving um everywhere is just a mess at the minute and i've got no room to like store anything so where i've been buying new holiday clothes they've just been living here that's actually so unacceptable like what the hell so this is all my new holiday clothes which i want to show you because basically i did a plt order and i did a boohoo order and i haven't shopped on boohoo in a while but I, I was scrolling on instagram and i kept seeing loads of really nice outfits from boohoo so i was like do you know what i'm gonna order some stuff um and i'm so impressed i literally love it all 
Um, so I want to show you a few of them bit while I pack. I still haven't got a case. I really need to go and buy a new suitcase because, I don't know if I've mentioned this already, but mine and Jordan's suitcase basically just died a really tragic death in Italy. Um, the wheels literally came off. Jordan was dragging it through the cobbly streets of Italy. It wasn't a fun time for anybody involved. Um, and it definitely can't be took on another trip. So I need to go and get another case for us to use. Um, but I think what I might do is go through and just write down my outfits for every day because I've got loads of really nice daytime outfits. Oh my God, he's awake. That's a sock that he brought in. Oh, thank you for lying under my bum. That's lovely. Um, what was I saying now? Yeah, I've got loads of like daytime outfits and loads of nighttime outfits and I need to like plan exactly what I want to wear because that's just the type of person that I am. Um, I also need to send some stuff back to PLT and Boohoo because there was like one or two things that just didn't fit. Sorry about that. Um, some things that didn't fit or I didn't like on that I need to send back. So... What should we do now? Have I got anything on my to-do list? Okay, yeah, I'm going to sort through holiday stuff. I'm also going to start start sorting through my makeup bag um, because I like to take as little makeup as possible on a holiday usually. If you watch the Italy vlogs, you'll know that my holiday makeup is literally refi bronzer, refi brow and a bit of lip stuff. I've had quite a few requests to do like a holiday makeup tutorial, but I'm not joking, it would be three minutes long. Um, so maybe in a vlog I'll show that um, but obviously I've got Rachel's wedding when we're in Santorini so I need to take more like full face and eyeshadow palettes because it's a wedding it's not just my usual holiday glam oh my god I'm so excited for the wedding I can't believe Rachel's getting married um, I feel like it's been such a long time coming because her wedding got um, delayed because of Covid and I'm just so excited. I think it's going to be such an amazing trip. She's going to be a beautiful bride. She's going to look stunning. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got to update you on. Kind of hungry. Might go get a Squares bar. And yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be completely honest. It is 8 o'clock. It's a lot later on in the day. Is the pile still like that? Yes, it is. Um, we had a bit of a little issue, didn't we, my boy? Let me sit next to you and we'll tell everyone what happened. So, everyone, as I was pottering around, cleaning the house, like I usually do on an evening, um, so that I can like end the day and know that all work is tied up and stuff, this little boy here <sighs> stole a pop sock that I took off from earlier and ate it within the space of about two seconds and I knew he'd ate it because he was looking at me so like with a guilty face and making these very weird noises and I was like oh my god that's not good so I quickly googled it and it was like ring your vet immediately like it could get stuck in his intestines etc etc so I obviously had a mini panic attack and rang the vets and they were like you need to bring him in immediately um and we'll give him a sickness injection. It's gonna cost you 200 pound. Oh my God, by the way, look at that spot. I don't know where it's came from and it's so painful. Like, it's more like a scab. Like it hasn't got a head or anything. It's like a legit scab. That is not cute. It's so sore as well. Like my skin's been really good recently. So I don't know where that's came from. Um, So I obviously took him straight to the vets. He had a sickness injection. He sicked up the pop, the pop sock straight away. Um, and then I brought him home and he's obviously been feeling really sorry for himself. I'll show you. As you can see, he's very sad. He has to just cuddle his mama every minute. So I've basically just been like snuggling him and pottering around a little bit, but keeping an eye on him because he's definitely a bit like drowsy um, and feeling sorry for himself. But yeah. My night really did take a turn. I didn't expect to have to drive at five o'clock in tea time traffic to the vets. Um, but 
Corby's health is the most important, so at least he's fine. I didn't want to risk not taking him to the vets and like it getting stuck or something. Um, poor little boy. But yeah, it's now eight o'clock. I'm not really hungry. I feel like at the minute, at tea time, I'm just not getting hungry, and I don't know why. It's like I've almost like lost my appetite, which is so unlike me because I love food. Um, I think it's more that I just can't be bothered to cook anything either. Um, so I'm sorry that this vlog's been pretty boring so far. I'm aware that it has. However, I think I'm going to call it a night for tonight. Wake up fresh tomorrow and have a full day of packing, organising, etc, etc. So I'll, of course, bring you along for that and speak to you in the morning. Mwah. Good morning. It's a new day. I've got another girl knows all Dion Crow outfit on. This one is just like such a nice neutral comfy fit for at home hair looks the exact same because you best believe i've got so much of this stuff in my hair right now it's rock hard it's not going anywhere um just doing my morning skincare just putting on some elemis pro collagen marine cream i really like this stuff it is expensive um but i would buy it again like it's really nice it leaves your skin really soft and really glowy um i need to go to the post office because i didn't do that yesterday um and it's time to pack and organize um i got this new little packing um what are you called then little makeup case situation um just from amazon because usually i take my refi pouch which i love this makeup bag it's gorgeous um and then i'll take like this little thing in my hand luggage but i thought it would just be easier to put like everything in here rather than having multiple bags like there's really no need for that is there um and it's got this like top section so it's got the main bit where like all your liquids can go and then this top section which could have like hair stuff or jewelry or whatever um so i just thought that was really good and it was from amazon and it was really cheap um so yeah i'm gonna organize my makeup bag I'm going to start packing, I'm going to take Mr Lou for a walk, um, he's feeling a lot better today everyone, really milking the whole sickness vet situation even though it was self inflicted, but you know, we'll let him milk it. We're having a makeup free day today because the pollen feels very high, I've literally had the worst hay fever since being a kid, like there's photos of me when I was a kid and my eyes are so swollen, I remember like the pain of my mum and dad putting eye drops in and I used to hate it so much but I've suffered from hair fever from literally being so young and then it wasn't that bad for a few years and then every year I just don't know how it's going to affect me so last year I had it really bad and me and Jordan love going camping people are always quite shocked when I say that I think because of like my job and stuff I think people are like what but I absolutely love camping Maybe next time we go, which is going to be in the summer because I want to go on loads of camping trips. I'll bring you along for a vlog because that'll be a different one, won't it? I just love it. Um, anyway, we went camping and, oh my God, my eyes, obviously, you're outside constantly. My eyes were itching so much. I get, like, a really itchy throat as well. You know, when you, like, itch your throat with your tongue? That's kind of disgusting, but... Um, yeah I get it really bad so last year I went and got the hair fever injection because I'd heard so many amazing things about it that people had literally been cured with the hair fever injection and do you know what it did it left an indent in my bum so now well to be fair I'm not gonna get my bum out on camera but it's kind of gone I thought it was only going to get worse like when I went on holiday and obviously the sun was on it I thought this is going to be bad it's like a really white little scar on my bum and then it like indents in but for some reason in the sun it's kind of faded and you can't really see it anymore and the indents kind of like faded as well um but there's this thing you can, this is honestly such a long-winded story i don't know why we got here but there's this thing that apparently you can get like kind of like a laser treatment which sort it out anyway i'm not going to be getting the hair fever injection again so i need to go to the doctors and get like prescribed hair fever tablets because the ones from the shop just don't work for me and it ruins my summer and the pollen feels high today so that is why we're having a no makeup day i think that was the moral of the story let's start packing okay excuse the multiple tripods that is going on here um but it is 
about an hour later I had a few emails that I needed to send but I've just sat down got my makeup bags in front of me and I'm gonna pack stuff I need for holiday in here um so in my refi pouch which is looking very messy is the stuff I took to Mallorca and Italy but I literally only wore my refi bronzer my refi brow and my refi blush which is somewhere in there so I'm gonna redo it all pack some bits because obviously like I said it's the wedding so I want to do more of a full face on that day so I'm gonna take this Vita Liberata Beauty Blur which if you've been here for a while you'll know how much I love this product it's running quite low it's incredible my mum and my sister actually got me on this because they found it, started using it, and I'm obsessed. This is so good for, like, a foundation replacement, especially on holiday. Leaves your skin so glowy and just evens out your skin tone. So I'm going to take that. And then I'm also going to take this new foundation, which I've used a few times now. It's the Revolution in Real Life Filter. Um, I've used it a few times, like I said, and it's really good, and it lasts a long time. Like, I didn't have to touch it up, whereas often, because I've got quite oily skin... I feel like foundation just doesn't usually sit right on me whereas this is so good and this shade is quite dark so it matches my holiday skin when I've got a tan um but yeah I'm gonna start organizing what I want to take and pack it all in here I'm going to take my Too Faced Born This Way palette because it's got really nice pinky nudie tones in which I think will look really nice with my bridesmaid dress. I'm also going to take my Laura Mercier setting powder. I don't usually wear powder on holiday but again for the wedding I think I'll need it. Um, this is nearly ran out but maybe I should take it and then I can just chuck it when I'm out there. My Weleda Skin Food again such a good makeup base. Um... Is that everything? When I'm doing, like, packing makeup for holiday, I, like, go through my routine. So I'm like, right, when I do my makeup, I start off with my Weleda. Then we'll do foundations. Then we'll do contour, cream bronzer, concealers. Then we would do blusher, highlight, powder, eyes, mascara, eyeliner brow pencil, brows, that's another contour stick and then I'd finish with lips and that's kind of like how I do it um, so I think that's all I'm going to take to be completely honest with you all okay so that's all my makeup packed and in the travel case I'm then going to go through this bag which I usually take in my carry on and I still will do that um, just to save weight in the case um and put some stuff in here i've got little hair clips a fresh razor um do i need you mm, yeah you can go in there okay a quick little what goes in the bag that i take in my flight bag we've got a mini ren glow tonic you all know that this is my holy grail so i have to take this with me and it's lasted me two holidays and there's about half a bottle so that should be fine for santorini then my perfume, again, this is perfect because it's a little bottle of the Jo Malone Pomegranate Noir. I would like to take some of my big bottles, but they just weigh so much, so this is easier. Um, I do have a couple of other minis that I might throw in as well, just so I can mix it up, but that goes in there. We've then got my face SPF, again, I've raved about this so many times, SPF 50 La Roche-Posay, that goes in there. Then got the Lancaster Body Milk, SPF 15. I used this on my body. Got sent this in a PR package. Took it to Italy and it was so, so good. So that is coming with me again. We've then got another Holy Grail 
Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. This comes everywhere with me, no matter what. We've then got this little daily gel cleanser. I got a few of these in a package and I've took them on holidays and they're so, so handy because it's a little cleanser. You don't have to take your big tub and it does the job. And then I'll pack my LMS um, cleansing balm in here as well in the case. Um, but I obviously I double cleanse, so that's perfect. We've then got this hangover good to go moisturiser. Again, it's a mini, so it's perfect for your day-to-day -day moisturiser. I'll probably run out of this in Santorini and then I'll just like bin it when I'm out there. Then got this Medicate, S not SPF, yes it is SPF, SPF 30 Eye Protect Eye Cream. That goes in there as well. I've got a Peaches and Cream Lip Liner in the shade Feline. Love the colour of that. It's just like a nice nude which I keep in there. Iconic London Lip Oil. Again, I like to just put that on through the day sometimes. A spoolie for brows and lashes. And then loads of hair bubbles. Which actually, I'm going to just put two in there and put the rest in here. And I take loads on holiday because, like, I just don't want to run out of hair bubbles. That's stressful. Um, but yeah, that's my little thing to go in my flight bag. In this little top compartment, we've got a razor, we've got some hair clips when I do my makeup, we've got some hair bubbles, scrunchies, yes, that amount is necessary, some paracetamol, a tampon, I'm going to put more than one in there because you just would rather be safe than sorry, um, and just got my Elemis to go in there because I'm not going to be wearing makeup before I go on holiday, and I've got a Clinique one in there anyway to use, um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with that cannot forget this because there's nothing worse than burnt lips that needs to go in here there you go darling oh my god why is this so hard i've got this little mini um perfume as well the same brand as the baccarat rouge which is my favorite perfume ever what i wear all the time oh sorry about that what i wear all the time but don't want to take the big bottle with me so how perfect is that little mini bottle and then I also found in my drawer of tricks this little mini Moroccan oil. Oh god, am I okay? Which is perfect to take away. And then this is a body oil. Look at that. Sorry, but on your legs with a tan, that's gonna look incredible. So I'm gonna pack them. I will I don't know whether to take this or whether to just buy a mini one in the airport. Because I don't have time to go and get one now. So maybe I'll just buy a mini hairspray in the airport and I'll also buy some after sun in the airport because I like getting like a nice holiday one um, and it's quite heavy to go in the case so we buy it in the airport so that then it doesn't count. Okay so jewellery and accessories for sunglasses I'm taking all of these plus my ones in here which are my and other stories ones that I wore the whole time in Italy like they're just like my go-to everyday ones they're just in that Ray-Bans case because it keeps them protected um but these ones are from Noughts and Kisses then we've got these ones from Jeweled Boutique these ones are Jeweled Boutique these ones are Noughts and Kisses do I need to take five pairs of sunglasses on holiday for a seven day trip absolutely yes I do this is the anklet that I got in Mallorca I've had it off when I've been home just because with leggings and stuff it doesn't look right it only looks good on holiday so I'm going to put that back on then got my JBW watch my Abbott Lion bracelets these are my favourites the little D the chain one this tennis bracelet is my absolute fave and this hammered detail one these earrings which I get so many questions about I take them on every holiday I don't know where they're from I got them years and years and years and years ago um, I think they actually might have been from like a little stall on holiday. I just love them. Then got this sunglass chain and a body chain. And that is all my accessories. And I just pop them in this little Louis Vuitton dust bag. Well, obviously not all of them, but I pop all my jewellery in there to keep it safe. <laughs> clearing out my flight bag which I also use as my beach bag on holiday um, and I just found 
these. These are the corks from the champagne that we had on the boat when Jordan proposed. Um, so we kept them because I keep corks. Like I've got ones from when we first moved in the house. I've got ones from New Year. I keep them all um, because I always knew in the new house that I wanted like a really nice vase that you put them all in and they're like displayed and I write on the date that we've had them and stuff. I haven't wrote on these yet but... These are very special ones. They're going to be at the top of the pile, let me tell you that. Okay, so it's post office time. I was going to drive, but the weather's lovely. So I'm going to take Corby and we're going to have a nice walk there because I feel like I could do with getting some fresh air. How cute does this outfit look, by the way? Obviously, girl knows all. Dion cried it. This is a little bag which I get asked all the time about. I got it from a little Instagram boutique again years and years ago. So I can't remember what, I've just realised the camera wasn't even on the bag. Um, I can't remember where it's from. I feel like it was seen on her, but I don't think they sell them anymore. Um, and then these sunglasses are notes and kisses, of course. Um, but yeah, we're going to go for a nice little stroll. Okay, so I'm about to make some piles of daytime outfits and nighttime outfits i've got so much oil in my hair right now it's not cute but hats i'm taking this fedora which was from where were you from then noughts and kisses i think yes noughts and kisses i'll leave it linked down below it's a little bit stained because i've had it for such a long time it's actually a bit disgusting but i just love it and I don't have time to order a new one, so any tips on how to get stains out of this material or is it just done for and I need to get a new one? I'll be taking it anyway. I'm then going to take this fedora from ASOS because um, I think this looks quite nice for like lunches with like dressier outfits. I just love a hat on holiday. And then I'm going to take my Zara, just a little cap for through the day, literally for getting the sun out of my eyes. Then, oh my god, these trousers are incredible. So these are from Jewel's Boutique. You've probably seen this style of trouser before. Like, the really fringed, like, oh my god. Are they not just so cool? Also, they're so soft and really heavy, like, really good quality. Um, I actually got them in a size large, I think, because I was asking what size, like, the models had on. And I think the model had on a medium and I was like, I want them to sit like below my waist and be like not skin tight. Like you want them to be baggy. It's almost like a cargo fit. Um, but I just think them with a brown bikini for a beach club is such a vibe. I'm obsessed with them. And I also got them in the cream because I couldn't decide what colour. Oh my God. Stunning. Um... By the way, I will be probably posting all of these outfits um, over on my Instagram and I'll create like a Santorini highlight. When this video goes live, I would have already been a Santorini, so or I, I might be there. Um, so just go and look at my Instagram and you'll see photos of them on or I'll save them all to a highlight when I like put on stories wearing the outfits, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah. Also picked up a new Lulabelle's... Um, braid because I used to have one and I can't find it anywhere and although my hair is long and thick when I put it in a high ponytail and put it in a plait it just looks really limp like it doesn't look thick and like a big beautiful braid and um, so I ordered this from Lulabelle's and it came next day delivery which is brilliant and um, I think it was definitely less than 30 quid I think it maybe it was like 25 and um, they had a discount code on and I used it and I get the shade Chocolate Brown, which is perfect for my hair. Oh, that spot. I can't go over it. Um, I just remember from, like, when I did used to wear extensions. I don't wear extensions anymore. Um, but when I did, this was the shade I was. And thankfully, it still matches my hair. But just when I'm wearing it in a braid on holiday, it just makes it a bit more dramatic. So I picked up that. And I'm glad I did, to be honest. Because I kind of wear the same hairstyle every day of my life. So it's quite nice to just spice it up and change it a little bit okay so in terms of bikinis i've got more than i need so i need to eliminate some first up this pink oh my god look at the color of that this actually looks like one of the hunza g ones um but it's not i got it from out dazzle 
doesn't have a brand name in it, but I got it from Out Dazzle, so I'll leave a link down below. Really nice material, so flattering on, and I just love the colour. I thought with the tan, that is going to be gorgelino. Oh. Then, oh, have I got a blister? I've then got this new bikini from Beach City. The brand is called Agua Bendita, I think. But it's just a classic black bikini because I felt like I didn't have a good quality black bikini and everyone needs that in their wardrobe. So it's just this type of material. It's got like a thick um, waistband so you can pull that nice and high waisted. Not full thong but quite like cheeky style on the old bum. And then the top is, it look you can't really tell here because the way it's tied, but cups with the same straps as the bottom and then it goes into like this detail at the back where it's like crisscross so it's a little bit more snazzy than just your standard triangle um but it's just like a classic black bikini i then got a new one from plt i think this was in the sale actually when i ordered it um but it's this nice like tiger print nudie whitey color um classic triangle bikini with the matching classic triangle top i just like the pattern of that thought it was quite cute so that's three then i'm gonna take this one which oh my god i've had for years you know them bikinis that you just have and you just like wear year on year so this is actually from primark i got it so long ago but the shape of the bottoms is just really nice it's quite nice for like a little bit more full coverage like i am going on holiday and all of Rachel's family are going to be there. I don't think I need to get my full bum out at some times, you know? I mean, I'm here for a thong bikini, but, you know, sometimes you might want to be a bit more covered up. And these do that. I love the frill detail. It's obviously just a classic white bikini. Great when you've got a tan. Um, but what I do love about this is the top, which is a bandeau, but then it's got these little sleeve holes, which are, when I'm sunbathing, just bring my hands, my arms out of them and just tuck them in. And it's a really nice bandeau and really supportive actually. Um, but you could wear it like as a top with a shirt over and it's quite like a dressier bikini. I just think it's really cute. Um, but yeah, like I said, I got that years ago. How many are we up to? One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to take this green one because I love this. I actually got this for Tenerife last year um, from Misguided. And it is a green bikini. If this is still in stock, I'll link it. Um, but honestly, it's so nice on. These cups are so flattering. And then the straps around the back are just these, like, thin straps. I love this so much. I wore this in Tenerife. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen it. Um, and then the bottoms are similar to them other ones that I've shown you. Like, kind of cheeky, not full-on thong. Um, but again, just really flattering on. It's a really comfortable bikini, and I love the colour. One, two, three, four... Right, I think I, I only need six bikinis, really. I don't need to take, like... Oh, I don't know, do I? Okay, no, I've got one more. Okay, I'm going to have to go for a white one, but I've got... It's actually odd, but who cares? So, just a white classic triangle. This is from PLT. It's like a crinkle material. Um, This is just, like, the perfect tan and bikini. So, I like to take that as just an easy throw-on. Ow! Ow! throw on bikini and then for the bottoms i did have the matching ones but i've lost them so i'm just going to take this little one from nina swim which is all polly's brand um and they'll go okay together it's kind of white and cream but whatever i kind of like a mix match bikini sometimes i'm not mad about it um and then i'm also actually going to take these brown bottoms to wear under the brown trousers um Oh, I really wanted to take... No, I don't need to take that. I'm also going to take just these white bombs. Actually, do I need to take just them white bombs? They're just a good option. I'll take them as well. Okay. So I've kind of got about eight bikinis at this point, but, you know, it's all right. It's all right. Okay. It's a few days later. Again. Has the packing started? No. Not a lot's changed. We've actually been back in Newcastle at the weekend, and it's now Sunday. I've got a Coke Zero and it's time to officially pack. So I showed you some of my daytime outfits, didn't I? So we're going to put them in. I also got this bag, look how gorgeous this is, from Abbott Lyon with my new initials on. That is so weird to see. How gorgeous is that though for like a daytime beach bag when you don't want like your big beach bag, which is there. 
and you want more of like a daytime one but that still fits stuff in I just think that's so cute so that's coming with me um but I'm gonna start putting stuff in the case I'll show you a few outfits as we go um but like I said if you want to see the outfits on go to my Instagram you'll see them there I'll save them all to a highlight um and yeah let's actually get packing <laughs> Okay, some evening outfits. I've got this cute pink shirt with a matching skirt. How cute is that? That is from, I did she's a massive PLT order and loved it all. Like all of it was so nice. So a lot of my outfits are from PLT. Um, I also make sure to cut all the tags off because they are added weight, which we do not need. Then got this yellow skirt, which I'm obsessed with. It's like a ribbed knit material um, and it's got tie details. It's like a yellowy orange colour and I'm wearing that with a yellow shirt. It looks really cute together. We've then got some Zara little like tailored shorts, which I'm going to wear with this cropped blazer and I need to start making a list. So I need a little bralette to go under there. Okay, the rest of the evening outfits, you'll see on Instagram. It's the new prep set and tan and so basically I wear factor 50 on my face but I wear like a normal factor on my body so my face is always a lot paler than my body Um, so this is actually a face or body tan but it just like leaves your skin really glowy so I'm going to give it a go on holiday and it comes with a little brush to like buff it in as well so I'm going to take that packing is going really well bearing in mind we're taking a smaller case because we didn't have time to go and get a different case so we're taking just like my smaller one and then hand luggage as well so I'm trying to be very sensible everything is in apart from a few pairs of shoes um but I'm gonna just put some stuff on Jordan's side and hope that he's got less than me um but yeah success okay so it's now the next day i've been filming this vlog for literally about a week at this point trying to pack um but i've just popped into town and got some bits from primark and boo avenue just like last minute holiday bits so i thought i'd show you first up from boo avenue i got these new pajamas i love getting new pajamas before holiday i feel like it's just something you've got to do and these little strawberry ones are so cute so i got them I also got just a classic seamless thong from Boo Avenue just because on Rachel's wedding day my dress is quite like like slinky satin material so I need like a really seamless thong for under there. Then from Primark I got these flip flops. I thought the square toe made them look actually really expensive. They were only £2 um, and just like a classic easy white pair. I also got these travel bottle things. I get these before every holiday because they're good to just like put um or like your liquids in like rather than taking a full bottle of shampoo or shower gel they're just really handy and it's only a pound for all them and the little bag and then i finally got these bras which was um three different colors and it was only 12 pound yeah 12 pound just because i've got a couple of shirts or blazers that are cropped where i would need something underneath so i thought a nice lace bra would look cute so that is what i've just picked up Okay guys, that is going to go ahead and end this 
video i really hope you enjoyed it make sure to like comment and subscribe if you did as i said if you want to see any of the outfits or the holiday look or just what we got up to on the holiday i know i'm not vlogging but it will all be over on my instagram and i'll see you all in the next one bye